Hello, Bonpriya. Welcome to your Priya. Let's start your snap yeah. interview for the subject power yeah. system for your uh, BPSC lecture job, right? Yeah. Okay. So, which generator is mostly used for the purpose of power generation in India? Mm, sir, alternator. Uh, mm, alternator, maybe, sir, uh, mm, cylindrical rotor type. Okay. So, why is cylindrical rotor type? Why not with salient? Sir, cylindrical rotor type ki, uh, rating jada hoti hai aur, uh, jada ke bhi rating hoti hai uske. Isli isko use karte hai. Your uh, voice is coming less, ma. So, speak louder. Sir, cylindrical rotor hi use karte hai jada tar. Kyunki uh, ye cylindrical rotor ki ke bhi rating hoti hai, wo jada le sakte hai as compared to cilian port. Or wo jada stable bhi hota hai, sir. Salient so, comparison. So you mean to say cylindrical rotor uh, KVI is more when compared to salient, right? Yes, sir. Size oh. according to the Okay, okay. So can you explain how uh, of safe C? Suppose uh, if I'm going for uh, same rating machine. Yes, sir. So what what is the advantage of cylindrical over uh, salient pole? Sir, same rating ki baat karenge to sir uh, salient pole ki jo stability ho gayi. यानी कि सेंट्रल फ्यूगल फोर्स जो भी लगेगा उसमें वो कम स्टेबल होगा एज कंपेयर टू रोटर फाइन सो वेयर सेलेंट पोल सिंक्रोनस मशीन इज यूज्ड इफ दैट इज द केस वी शुड नॉट यूज सेलेंट पोल राइट सर सर जहां पे हम स्पीड कम रखते हैं वहां पे हम सेलेंट पोल यूज करते हैं और जहां पे स्पीड हम ज्यादा रखते हैं वहां पे हम सिलेंड्रिकल रोटर प्रेफर करते हैं for example, uh, we use uh, hydro power plant in salient, we use the speed of the number of poles. And sir, the uh, thermal power plant, we use the speed of the number of poles. That's why we use the uh, 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 cylindrical rotor type. Okay. Why we are not using induction generator for the purpose of power generation? Induction generator. Sir, one is induction generator. Uh, it's not popular. Nahi hai, jahan tak mujhe lag why? Hai. See, why it is uh, not popular? So we have induction generator, we have DC generator. Why we are not using sir. DC generator or induction generator? Sir, DC generator to misle we use karte, kyunki usse hum three phase jo bhi hai, hamara, AC hum, AC nahi, uh, kya karte hai? AC generate nahi karte, DC generate karte, or then usko AC may convert. Uh, sorry. Uh, generate to AC hi karte hain, but uh, wahan pe convert karte hain commutator ki help se AC mein. Or slip ring vagare ki jarurat hoti hai. Induction generator mein bhi slip ring ki jarurat hoti hai. Is wajah se bhi hum usko bhoa jada high value jab hume uh, lena hota hai, to hum usko wahan pe use karte hain. What is the use of slip rings uh, in induction generator? Uh, sir, slip ring, uh, sir, basically slip ring ka use hum, uh, uh, squirrel ki, uh, sorry. Slipping induction motor me karte hai ek ek second sir let me think sir uh, slipping ka use hum induction motor me ya generator me do purpose se karte hai ek to hume uh, jab extra resistor uh, add karna ho starting torque high jab chahiye hota hai so we want hai. starting torque for generator or for motor sir uh, generator me hume zarurat padti we want see Sorry, motor, Correct. motor, motor. I am asking why induction generator is not used for the purpose of power generation. So I will concept recalling. Okay. Fine. What is the mostly used material for the for transmission? Which material is used for uh, transmission purpose? Sir, uh, conductor ki baat kar Yes. Sir, generally, we use copper conductor. Use karte. Copper, generally? Yes. Copper we use karte hai, mostly. Mostly copper. Why copper? What, what are the possible conductors uh, for the purpose of uh, making transmission line? Possible conductors? Sir, we use silver, bhi use kar sakte hai, gold, and uh, um, copper. Bhi use kar sakte hai. But um, aluminium, sorry, I mean, I said earlier, a copper, bola tha, kya? Yeah, you oh, sorry, sir. Uh, copper. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, sir. Aluminium, we use. Okay. Uh, but 
सर सिल्वर और गोल्ड तो काफी महंगा होता है उसका यूज नहीं कर सकते बाकी सिल्वर सॉरी एल्यूमिनियम और कॉपर में हम कॉपर ज्यादा कॉस्टली होता है इसलिए भी हम एल्यूमिनियम प्रेफर करते हैं ओके सो व्हाट इज स्टैंडर्ड कंडक्टर सर स्टैंडर्ड कंडक्टर सर एक सर ग्रुप ऑफ कंडक्टर होता है व्हाट इज द नीड ऑफ गोइंग फॉर स्टैंडर्ड कंडक्टर मींस एक सेंट्रल कंडक्टर होता है और उसके सर स्टैंडर्ड कंडक्टर की इसलिए बेसिकली इसमें क्या होता है ना कि ट्रांसपोर्टेशन हमारा इजी हो जाता है उसको हम फोल्ड कर सकते हैं एज ए स्पाइरल के फॉर्म में उसको ट्रांसपोर्टेशन कर सकते हैं इजीली ऊपर से स्किन इफेक्ट का भी कम हो जाता है और जब हम सॉलिड कंडक्टर यूज करते हैं तो उसका ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एक तो टफ हो जाता है उसको एज इट इज हम फोल्ड नहीं कर सकते दूसरी बात स्किन इफेक्ट के कारण स्किन इफेक्ट भी एक रीजन है उसकी वजह से भी हम नहीं यूज करते हैं बाई कीपिंग स्किन इफेक्ट एसाइड Suppose you are taking one solid conductor, another stranded conductor of same length. Yes. Sir. See, this is uh, means uh, this is point A, this is point B. Between these two points, I want to put one time solid conductor, another time stranded conductor. Yes, sir. With among these two, which one is having more resistance? If I am keeping skin effect aside, suppose I am taking DC. In DC, we all know that skin effect will not be there. Yes. This is point A. This is point B. Between point A and B, the distance is one meter. Okay. One time I am putting solid conductor. Another time I am putting stranded conductor. In these two cases, in which case resistance is high? Sir, यदि हम stranded conductor use करेंगे तो उसका cross section area हमें ज़्यादा होगा. उसका resistance कम होगा. और यदि हम solid use करते हैं तो उसका जो resistance ये cross section होगा वो कम होगा. Answer to me one question: Why stranded conductor cross section area is more when compared to solid? I am taking same both are of same cross section. Okay, sir, same cross section. Hmm. Sir, मुझे नहीं लगता इससे कोई फर्क पड़ना चाहिए. जब स्किन इफेक्ट को हम यदि नेगलेक्ट कर देते हैं तो क्योंकि रेसिस्टिविटी हमारा कांस्टेंट है एल हमने कांस्टेंट ले रखा बोथ आर सेम मेड अप ऑफ सेम मटेरियल बोथ आर मेड अप ऑफ सेम मटेरियल यस सर एंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द पॉइंट्स ए एंड बी इज सेम सेम क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया इन व्हिच केस द रेसिस्टेंस विल बी हाई ओके फाइन लेट्स सी सी व्हाट इज द मेन कंसीडरेशन व्हाइल डिजाइनिंग ट्रांसमिशन लाइन पावर लॉस और वोल्टेज ड्रॉप सर जनरली हम वोल्टेज ड्रॉप को ही कंसीडर करते हैं फॉर ट्रांसमिशन लाइन यस सर व्हाई सर क्योंकि हमारा ओवरऑल सिस्टम जो है बैलेंस चाहिए बैलेंस सिस्टम के लिए हमारा सोर्स भी बैलेंस होना चाहिए लोड भी बैलेंस होना चाहिए और जो ट्रांसमिशन लाइन कनेक्ट कर रही है लोड टू सोर्स को माय क्वेश्चन बैलेंस होना चाहिए आई एम डिजाइनिंग अ ट्रांसमिशन लाइन यस आई हैव टू डिजाइन माय ट्रांसमिशन लाइन बाय बाय कंसीडरिंग वन थिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंटली वन इज Voltage drop. Another one is power loss. In these two, which one I have to concentrate more to reduce voltage drop or power loss? Sir, voltage drop. For a distribution line. Okay, let me think, sir. सर दो रीजन हो सकते हैं मुझे अभी जो अभी जो समझ में आ रहा है सर ट्रांसमिशन लाइन में भी वोल्टेज हमें कंसीडर करना पड़ेगा क्योंकि हमें ओवरऑल सिस्टम जो है बैलेंस चाहिए और वोल्टेज व्हाट इज द बैलेंस सिस्टम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सर बैलेंस सिस्टम तब होगा जब एक हमारा सोर्स भी बैलेंस होगा ट्रांसमिशन लाइन भी बैलेंस होगा लोड भी बैलेंस होगा बैलेंस का मतलब जो भी फेज वोल्टेज की मैग्नीट्यूड है वो सेम है और 120 डिस्प्लेसमेंट आपस में ओके और सर इफ वोल्टेज ड्रॉप इज मोर इफ वोल्टेज ड्रॉप इज मोर But it is same in all three phases. Then also it is going to be balanced, na? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, voltage drop. Because sir, I am load end pe at at the last time load end pe kuch rated voltage chahiye hoti hai. So, so voltage are, to for a transmission line, are you connecting load directly, or for a distribution system you are going to connect? No. Load? But overall, dekha jaye to yadi transmission line mein bhi bahut zada voltage drop ho jayegi, to aage bhi to voltage kam hi milegi hai. So I given two things to you. One is voltage drop, and another is 
पावर लॉस इन दीज टू विच वन इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट सी आई एम नॉट सेंग दैट वोल्टेज ड्रॉप को निग्लेक्ट करे और वोल्टेज ड्रॉप जितना चाहिए उतना होने दो आई एम नॉट सेंग दैट इन दीज टू विच वन इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट Okay, fine. Let me give you feedback, uh, Banuk. Yes, sir. Uh, see, uh, preparation is required. Okay. Yes, sir. So, for my first question was, uh, which generator is mostly used? Synchronous generator or alternator? Yes, uh, because synchronous generator is a constant frequency machine. Yes, we have to provide power output to the grid. So, grid. Uh, this parallel operation of all generators and loads is possible if uh, frequency is constant. If you go for induction generator, induction generator is a variable speed machine. If speed is variable, frequency is also variable. I am not getting the power output, which is having constant frequency. Therefore, I am unable to connect my machine to the grid directly. Then, how to use the induction generator? You convert that AC to DC. Again, convert that DC to AC to your required frequency. Yes. This extra equipment is required for us if you want to use induction generator. Right. Yes, See, there is windmill. In windmill, the speed of the wind is not constant. There, we are going to use induction generator only. But how to connect that power to the grid? You know about grid, right? Yes, sir. If you want to connect that machine to the grid, definitely we have to connect a AC DC AC cascade. What is that? Convert that AC to DC by using a rectifier. Yes, sir. Convert that DC to AC again by using inverter. Then you connect that output power to grid. But we must maintain the frequency constant, right? Yes. Yeah. So, its main reason is why the frequency we need synchronism. Yes, synchronism. That's why we are going we are going mainly for synchronous generator. Okay. Synchronism. Yeah. Okay. So the possible conductors are as you said, silver, copper, gold, and aluminium. Mostly we are using aluminium, right? Yes. Between two points, if I am putting solid conductor. This is solid conductor. This is solid. Okay, made up of only one. Its length is uh, suppose a one meter. But if I want to put stranded stranded conductor, I am taking two conductors. I have to twist those. Yes, sir. When I am twisting, if I want one meter, one meter, I want more length or less length of actual conductor. This is a one meter. Suppose say, if I twist okay. these two, length will be less than one meter or more than one meter. Less than one meter. If I want one meter standard conductor, then definitely actual length of the conductor should be more than one meter, two right? Two meter, uh, no, not double two meter, more than one meter, right? Uh, double there, sir. It, it, not not double. Don't think that way. You are going in wrong direction. More length is required. That's all. Yes. No, don't think that this is one meter. This is one meter. Two meter. No, 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 no. You are again misguiding. Okay, you are getting. See, I'm taking this one, right? Yes. Suppose this length is one meter. Now. If I twist it, length will reduce. No. If I'm making in the form of spirals, yeah, length will yes, reduce. Sir, yeah, yeah. Length yes, will yes, reduce. Yes, so yes. definitely, I need more than one meter length to have one meter length of distance, right? If length is more, obviously resistance will be high. Yes. Sir. There will be slight increment in the resistance in standard conductor when compared to solid conductor, right? Yes, sir. In transmission, the main criteria is power loss. Why? Because no load is directly connected to transmission. Voltage drop is not that important as that of power loss. Okay. But in distribution, voltage drop is very important. Why? Because in distribution, our loads are connected directly to distribution lines. Therefore, we must maintain good voltage. Otherwise, uh, user equipments will get damaged. Right. So in distribution, the most important character that is required is voltage drop. In transmission, it is power loss. Fine. Mm. Yeah.